What's up, what's up dudes? Shane Marshall here. Today we look at a classic yoga stretch, but with a twist. We're going to bring the pigeon stretch now off the floor and show you how you can get more substance and relief in through the hip capsule, the hip, all of that area through a stretch called the elevated pigeon. That's coming next. So guys, the elevated pigeon stretch. All you're going to need is some sort of a bench, okay? Some sort of a bench or a stool at home that you can elevate at an angle, okay? So somewhere up, you know, the angle is running down towards the floor, 30, 40 degrees, falling back towards the ground. Classic yoga stretch, the pigeon stretch, always one that's used. Great exercise, but one that normally, for the mere mortals like me, find it very, very hard to get into a good position on the floor, get some knee pain in it, and don't really get much out of it whatsoever. So what we've done is we brought now the pigeon stretch elevated off the ground so that you can work on all them tight areas in around the hip capsule and really, really loosen out all of that area. So what you're going to do is <coughs> you're going to bring your right leg. I'll just show you the right side, obviously, you can do the same for the left side. We're talking about three to four minutes each side. Right leg onto the bench. I'm going to make sure that my knee is flat against the bench and then my leg is running down. From this position then, I'm just going to start off in a nice upright pole position. From here, I'm just going to start to move around, back and forward. There is no right or wrong. Not doing any contract and relax yet. Just easing my way into the stretch. I can drop my chest forward to get a little more tension, get warmed up there. And I can also go off off the bench and also create tension by going down the bench. One of the things I'm always going to do is trap my foot here with my hand and make sure I'm pushing down. Now, to get a little bit deeper, we're going to go back to our contract release phases. So we're going to go with a big deep breath in. And the back leg is really important here. Big deep breath in. Big deep breath in. I'm going to squeeze the back leg, contract the glutes. And then from here, as I breathe out, I'm going to bend the back knee and sink down deeper into the stretch by bending that back knee. You can see me getting close to the floor. Now I'm a little bit deeper, trying to keep the chest tall again and going side to side, trying to loosen out all that area around the hip. And now from here again, I can start to come down, I can start to go up, and I can also start to come forward. And for the three to four minutes that you're in this position, I want to keep the foot trapped, as I said. But we're going to take big deep breaths in again, we're going to contract the glutes in the back leg, and then we're going to try and sink a little bit deeper each time down into the stretch. Always keeping the knee safe, making sure you're keeping on the bench, and really, really feeling that tightness and stiffness around the hip capsule that we all have. Brilliant, brilliant stretch for any exercise that you're doing. Will make you feel better, will make you feel looser, and we will, will 100% increase your mobility. So guys, again, it's going to be squeeze, contract the back leg and glutes, relax, breathe out, sink down, and then get to work by coming down and up and forward. Again, there is no right or wrong run. You're keeping your knees safe, you're keeping yourself safe, and you've got an easier position you can get into now, regardless of what your mobility is right now. Guys, catch you tomorrow for our next video.